Summer 2023, here I come. I have become a gloss girl. I Bonjour everyone, happy Sunday. Later on you guys are going to help me clean the kitchen. But I'm here to talk to you guys about my lip duo today. So what I'm gonna start doing is doing my lip duo with you guys because you always have a question about what's on my lip to show you what I put on my lip every day. I remember telling you guys that uh, I was given this as a sample. When Maria was here in September, we were both talking about like you know, the 90s lip. I was telling her like I could never find like a nice little ashy pink that will give me that beautiful 90s look to pair with like the darker outer corner because she was using one of my lip gloss i gave her the perfect look and i was just like oh that looks so cute but it wasn't the same on me by accident we were at bloomingdale's right this lady was just like i would love to give you a sample and she gave me two samples of this in my mind i was just like i don't need this you know jojo money send me stuff all the time right the ego <laughs> I you know I took them because I mean I didn't tell her that of course I'm always nice but in my mind I'm thinking oh I don't want to me stuff you know this is probably something I don't need I just happened to just try it the next day or like two days after and it literally was the perfect ashy pink color that I've been wanting to create that 90s look I was so in love and I finally ordered it because she gave me two so I've been using the samples I've just decided to just buy the full size because I was just tired of using the little thing I'm gonna put this in my bags when I'm going out but I ordered the full size it's right here it is the Giorgio Armani lip maestro it is shade 103 this is it I'm gonna link it below for you guys to check out I line my lips the outer corner with Mac chestnut as always love that and on top of it i've become a gloss girl like i told you guys i'm obsessed with glosses now because i see how pretty glosses are it just gives you that youthfulness like the other day i went out to dinner with two of my good friends and then they were both wearing glosses and they're just like the cutest thing ever i'm just like i want to be a gloss girl here i was with some matte lip looking all mature and stuff and i'm just like i want to be like a girly with like the glossy lip and it's so funny one of the reasons why i used to hit glosses was that you would have to reapply every few hours I, my thinking was back in the days was i want to put my lipstick on at 10 o'clock and i do not want to touch it until 10 p.m until it's time for me to go to bed now like one of the things that i look forward to is to reapplying my lip glosses throughout the day it is so funny how things have changed now i'm just like no glosses are just like so cute and fun but i'm using the city lips plumping lip gloss if you have like small lip or something like that or even if you you know have like a good full size lip i would still recommend this you know like the plumping lip um, glosses they have this ingredient in there that all of a sudden once you put it on it's just like make your lip hot because it's working to kind of like give them the appearance that they're bigger so that's what this does and as you can see already my lips are looking so juicy and i feel like naturally i've got no lips by just applying the city lip lip gloss now all of a sudden my lip is just looking like a good size they're looking plump oh i was so excited and of course i've been using my little anthropology mirror like this is this mirror is an icon like you can't go wrong with the primrose mirror i actually want to order one and also how cute is my tree in the background it's so funny yesterday it was a completely different look in the morning when i was sitting here when i didn't have the tinsels in the tree yet and then we woke up this morning it's like a whole different look i love it some people don't like it but I, I i love it i truly do i think it's so cute and of course i'm burning my limited edition for the um elderwise candle for miss and Zier. it's one of my favorite scent and of course sap and de noel i'm saving the little bit that i have from the sap and de noel for christmas day or maybe i'm gonna do one of the nest candle for for christmas we'll see but i love the sap and de noel 
Miss Enzo candles, it's so crazy how efficient they are. If I'm burning it now and then I just go downstairs to pick up a package, when I get off the elevator, I can smell the candle. That's how good it is. Like when you get in here, the entire house smells so good. I'm obsessed with the candles, honestly. They're my faves. I prefer the candles over the perfumes. Hey guys, lunch is here. I honestly didn't think this color would look that good on me, but I'm loving the green. It, it must be because my hair is blonde because I feel like in the past, I've worn green, green closer to my face and it did nothing for me but this is really this is looking really good so I, i'm making a cappuccino remember that mug that i showed you yesterday i'm like why not use it it, it looks so good and i was chatting with the guy he was telling me how he has this mug he puts ice cream on it then a little bit of bourbon and then some coffee and then um some like biscuit or like some candies that he just crushed and put on top. I'm like, that sounds amazing. I think I wanna do the same thing. I need to buy some bourbon. I don't have any bourbon. This is a cappuccino. Let me show you my lunch. I also ordered a bagel for the mall. Oh shoot, I forgot. This whole time I kept thinking today is Saturday. Today's Sunday. I got the breakfast burrito today, which is scrambled eggs, avocados. I added bacon, of course. Let's go eat. One thing that I'm realizing, TikTok is so freaking distracting. Instagram doesn't distract me. Instagram, I've got a really, really good handle on Instagram because I only go on there, I talk on stories, I do what I have to do, and then I get out. I don't necessarily, well, I mean, I still go to see some of my favorite people, but they typically post like early in the morning because they're like in Europe anyways. Actually, everybody's style that I really, really like, they're like European, which makes sense because I feel like... This little thing where we do a lipstick together today the combo is going back to the bare minerals yesterday i did the 90s lip and today i want to keep it like super feminine and sweet so i'm gonna be using this combo by bare minerals, bare minerals. <laughs> this is a shimmering stars mineralist lip glow i really really love this combo so let's try it i just apply <laughs> the lipstick this is enchantment this has iridescent as you can see it has the sparkles and you know the sparkle lips is all in right now so i highly highly recommend you check out this out and i really really love this duo because you don't have to think about it the colors already paired together i mean this is in um, wonder is this beautiful pink and then on top of it you just add that lip gloss i am obsessed like i said i've become a lip gloss girl i'm so excited um, i did buy something for myself oh let me show you the pouch that you get when you use my code well, it's already done now, but you get this little um, Dior pouch. Like, this is so cute. I can put my lipstick in here. Like, this is just, like, so chic. And I hope you guys took advantage and got yourself a free gift. That's what I got myself is this as a gift. And I also got myself an eyeshadow because you guys know Dior makes some of my favorite eyeshadows. They're really, really, really beautiful. But this is my favorite perfume from Dior ever. Most people don't really think about this one. I even forgot about this because I love niche fragrances. But Hypnotic Poison by Dior is that girl. I've actually wore this perfume years and years ago. I remember talking to my cousin's wife. She lives um, in Montreal. I was um, complaining to her or confiding in her that I couldn't find a perfume that I like. And then she recommended that I try this one out. I did, and I fell in love. This is one of the best scented perfume out there. It's like an aphrodisiac. I just hate that it doesn't um, stay on you that long because it's an eau de toilette. But even then, I still recommend um, getting this one. Like, oh, I love, love this one. When I tell you, just like its name, it's like... Mmm. 
typically I don't like um, wearing perfume when I'm in the house and not going out but this is one that I can wear when I tell you this smells good one of the best mmm and then I've got eyeshadow. I've got this eyeshadow palette. Like I told you guys, I really, really love. This is a duo with um, Riviera. And I love the limited edition palette because I feel like they, they're a little bit more fun and more creative with the colors. One of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. One of the reasons why I got this is because my favorite eyeshadow palette from Dior that was broken, that I've been wanting for them to come out with the same colors, it looks almost exactly like this. So I'm hoping this is kind of like... Um, the same color palette because it was supposed to be for like a spring summer palette so this one Riviera Riviera I think it's like a spring summer um, collection the colors look very similar to the one that I have I am so excited I am totally hoping this is uh, the same color or at least something similar to it uh, this is number 479 by Adair okay guys I wanted to clarify something about the video that I made that I was unhappy with my surgery i would say the unhappiness is really with my anatomy um my doctor explained it to me like people with like big breasts like we have like a gland or something that just like overproduce tissues as you can see like when i like a month after my surgery if you saw my chest you would have been like you have nothing they were like so tiny surgery is still the best thing that I've, it's the best decision that i've made my entire life if anything i just wish she could have taken more but it's not my doctor's fault that's another thing that i need to clarify is not my doctor's fault so i told her to go as low as possible whilst staying safe especially your first surgery there's only a certain amount they can take without ruining your boobs so she took as much as she could without damaging anything and what i really asked her honestly i asked her for an a but she said that's not possible if she'll give me an a then she'll like it will be damaged like she can't go that low it's a big surgery i mean although it was a piece of cake for me honestly to recover like i didn't feel anything i didn't even take any narcotics nothing at all it was just so quick and i think it's been five months now and it felt like i've had the surgery for like years it's crazy i don't even remember my old self like it, it's it's so crazy to me i've only had this done in july right Oot, September, October, November, December. yeah five months barely five months actually that i've had this done and i've already feel so much better it felt like i never had the previous boobs but my frustration is just like they they starting to settle and they settling a little bit bigger than i had hoped only so much they can take at once so she recommend to wait until february so i'm gonna go back in february to see to see if i'm gonna go under the knife so she can take the extra but what i think i'm gonna do is <clears throat> i think i may wait and i wish i could just cut the gland <laughs> like i wish i would just cut the damn gland and just like leave me alone gland like all those tissues on my breast like go the tissue somewhere in my butt no i don't want a big butt so this is what it used to look like before like this but yes guys i thought i would clarify that i don't regret having my surgery if anything i wish i had done it sooner when my mom had hers i wish i would have done it that same year when and again i wish i would have done it a decade ago if you ask me because this would have just like saved me so much trouble it would have made my life so easy i would have been so much happier now that i've done it again i am so so happy again obviously i wish they were smaller because there are certain things i still there are certain things I want to wear that I still can't wear because of them. Like, I would love to wear like a low cut like this. But because of these, I can't wear it because it just looked like too much. Most of the things now I can wear, I would say, is very, very little things that I can't wear now. Now I can wear a backless thing, you know, because I can go bra free and go backless. Oh my goodness. I tried on my Jacquemus dress, like a black dress from Jacquemus that I bought over the summer. I've tried it on the other day. I almost cried. I'm like, oh my god, I cannot wait to wear this next summer. Summer 2023, here I come. I cannot wait to wear that this summer. Although I did have a good summer though, but I was like healing. So it wasn't comfortable for me to wear a lot of certain things because I was wearing my my surgery bra for like three months. I still wear my surgery bra to sleep. Um, I go to sleep wearing it, you know, just to keep the boobs up a little bit. And I'm probably gonna do that for the rest of the year. Maybe later on, I'll change into like a little bralette, like a little something light to sleep with. Or I could just use this. Like this is my favorite bra. It's the most comfortable thing. I love it so much. This is my third one that I purchased. 
the other two they're actually hanging on the back of my door because i washed them last night i hand washed them but they're my favorite bra um i want to get one in the black they're so good it's from trinco i'm gonna link Guys, it below. i am picking out my holiday scent i just went behind my couch because i keep boxes of candles um so i've got ness and neom neom is actually a brand that i'm familiar with i found them years ago like over a decade ago when because I, I only follow like the European YouTubers, the, which is the reason why I've known of Neom. So I've got this cute little sleep bag. I'm gonna save this for when I have um, have to travel. This is so cute. So it had um, mist, perfect night sleep mist, and night sleep hand balm. That's perfect. And oh, they have the winter well-being wonders candle trio. <gasps> Orange. Yeah. And I love their packaging. Their packaging are just so good. Christmas tree is nice. Perfect piece. Perfect tree is spicy. Cozy night is kind of like cozy. But this is the packaging. I really, really love neon packaging. And I also got the Christmas wish in a big one. This is a packaging for Christmas. Typically, it's just like um super minimalistic white. But I guess for Christmas they went out. But even then, it does the packaging is still minimalistic? Although the inside is the red. This one is nice. It's like a little powdery. I think I may burn this on in my bathroom for Christmas, like I said, or maybe I could do this one for my dining room. Next, I am actually opening Holiday. This is one of my favorite diffusers of all time for the holiday season. I actually have another Nest diffuser outside. I keep them outside because it's so strong. Even when I'm inside, they still smell good. And also, whenever you get, oops, I think that's DHL. I'm waiting for FedEx to get here too. I'm waiting on a super exciting package. But when I tell you this smells good, like I said, you don't even need to keep this inside. I keep this outside my house. When I lived in Jersey, it was perfect because my house has the steps. So all I had to do was put them on the steps. But this is this one right over here. So cute. I'm about to put it right outside my door. and swap out these placemats. Because this place mats, they only need to be out when I'm hosting dinner. And this bowl, I don't think I like the bowl, honestly, in the center. figure out for dinner if i want to go to whole foods and get steak tonight i'm craving steak or if i should order i try to order it was like 50 dollars. i'm just like ugh. i'm so over it honestly so freaking over it i have a tendency to repeat myself i'm not sure if i already showed you this but if i have i am sorry but this is the invitation that i got from italy that i i shared the bag but i didn't show you what's inside i'm not sure if i you know showed you afterwards but um yeah i didn't know italy was founded in 2007 to me i felt like it's always been there for me i feel like it's like it's an icon i don't know why i thought that it's been there since like 1900 or something like that maybe like 1903 or something it invited me to come by and have dinner for two i cannot wait to go um and this is what they sent me for the invitation they sent me a bouquet which is probably part of the installation ov here it's like so wintry so i'm putting that in the center of my table oh i'm loving this table so much when i tell you it's ex almost exactly as the picture that i had and um, as my screenshot vision board for a couple of years it's just crazy to me with like the floor to ceiling window and then seeing i'm not seeing the empire state building but the building that i'm seeing they're pretty good and then i've got this falconery um hat that is one thing that i will be doing from now on it's just like covering my ears they also send me this strawberry and heavy cream this looks so good actually i cannot wait to open this this is from a brand called fabry since 19 since 1905 this is exactly the year that i thought italy was born i felt like italy's been around for so long but it's only 2007 like which is crazy to me which is a couple of years after i've moved to this country so that means i came to this country before italy that's insane but I cannot wait to open this. I'm probably gonna have this for dessert. I just ordered dinner. 
I just, you know, order it. I'm like, I'll go to Whole Foods another day. And then we've got Savoia, um, Americano, Wasso over here. This bottle just looks so incredibly beautiful. I don't know, there's something about fluted bottles. Like, you just cannot. The elegance of a fluted bottle, it's unreal. This is a, what is it, a red wine or something? I wonder what this is. This is an aperitif wine. So this is a wine that you have with aperitif. So I cannot wait. When my dinner comes here, I will show you guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, guys, I ordered the steak with french fries. It's here. I'm going to sit over there and eat. And then it's time to get to work. Because I need to do another video. For Because the heat wasn't on like you know all day long I turned it off I was getting like really warm and this is one of my favorite cups to have a tea it's so perfect because I already have the um, ooh, it's hot the thing to hold the tea by itself let me actually ooh, whenever I feel cold in the house I like to have like a like some tea and I really this is my favorite tea you can find it on Haven well within it is so good it's like drinking an entire flower it's so good and what i love about this is this part of it look at this it's all glass so it's just all so cute and then once you boil the water and put it in there you let it sit for like five ten minutes to do its thing and then once it's done what you do is you you go like so and then you put this on top of the on the cover and then you just use this as a mug to drink your tea, which is pretty cool. It was probably the best $13 that I've spent because I knew this winter I would be drinking a lot of tea. I was supposed to be on vacation this week, but I have so much work to do. It's impossible. I think I've shared this before. I've had this for the past couple of years. Best little investment, honestly. Like when you're sitting around, especially me, I don't want to have to hold my phone because it makes my hand hot and it hurts my hands so much. And also, I don't want to have to like hold my phone, especially if I'm sitting down. I don't want to have to hold it. This, it's perfect. So I just carry it everywhere. And then you can kind of like move it also. That's what I like about it. One of the best things that I invested in, honestly, this little this little phone stand it's so good so i can just be like watching you know bible whatever it is that i want to today i've got i'm doing the 90s lips so on the outer corner i um, did mac chestnut and then of course i went with whenever i'm doing kind of like a 90s lip like this i'm gonna go with my giorgio armani lip my show in number 103 it is the best kind of like ashy pink to give you that 90s look 
and then on top of it i just added a gloss this is from city lips but you can add any gloss that you have so what i've been doing lately is just lip combos yesterday i did the bare minerals today i'm doing this and tomorrow i may do the duo combos i am really loving it I, I can't believe i've become a gloss girl i love gloss i love like a glossy lip i'm like all right let me go order lunch because i'm hungry i was thinking should i make pasta or i want to eat meat yeah last night I <coughs> excuse me last night i ordered steak mm, it was so good honestly i'm contemplating ordering that steak again it was good i ordered lunch so i have to take my vitamins now i really love this like when i tell you my procrastination has just gone down this thing have me oh and i hear some people say their gray hair start going back black so i'm excited to see that because i actually went gray because i think i was low in iron because i didn't eat meat for so long like seven years definitely one of the reasons why i go gray if you look at vegans they go gray so early and i think that's definitely one of the reasons why i started going gray early because even my mom like my mom is like 50 something like 57 she barely has like any gray hairs really i'm in my 30s like why do i have gray hairs but that's because i didn't eat, eat meat for seven years so that's done a lot of damage but this highly highly recommend it is on my amazon shop it is linked under health definitely check this vitamin out and i've linked everything else that i take i've actually just ordered uh, some glutamine powder msm powder and also what else did i order yeah, zinc i have this one but i don't know if i feel like anything from this one so i'm just like hey i'm not sure about this one i also have the drops i really love the drops so i love zinc in drop form because it's so good i just ordered this one die guys this is really good to just put over your belly, you know, for that time of the month if you have any cramps. I'm gonna be using this. And I also have, this is a probiotics that I use with cranberry in there. I love that. These drops, I love them, the go-to cola. They used to be really, really good for like my procrastination and stuff like that. But the reason why I don't like them, they make me sleep so much. Of course, I would love to sleep more, but right now I just don't have the time to to rest or sleep on the level that these things make me sleep so i'm putting the sink in my i just feel like right now it's not my my resting season like i have work to do but this like when i tell you this is so magical i'm gonna be ordering this i think i'm gonna do the subscribe for this one so every like month i'll get one because i cannot live without this thing it's so good yeah i'm getting my water ready because lunch is on the way let's get back to work lunch is here it is pretty tiny which makes sense because it's a croissant panini but i didn't realize they would press it this looks so cute so this is a pressed croissant with bacon lettuce and tomatoes they had a little salad on the side which i've just already demolished mm, so good i am back i've been doing laundry because today is kind of like the last day for me to do laundry before the holiday starts because i know i do not want to worry about laundry until new year's so i actually wash all my wool and cashmere stuff yes i still wash them in the washing machine i just put it on delicate and honestly it's been fine and obviously you know do what you should do and then for drying i just put them in the dryer but i use no heat so i just put them on the no heat for like two hours and that's been working perfectly for me so i'm gonna continue doing that this order came in i saw the skirt emily totally influenced me as soon as i saw she was wearing the skirt i was just like oh i need to i need the skirt so fast at first i thought it was paco and then i take a look at her caption she said asos and i'm like asos has the skirt and i went on asos it was $60. I'm just like, 60 bucks for this skirt? Especially like how silver is trending right now. Of course, I had to order it ASAP. Like within seconds of me seeing this on her, I ordered it. I ordered a size 4 and I was right to order a size 4 because look at this. Again, I'm not a fan of mini skirt, but this is one of the cases where I made an exception and got this. Um, I don't even know how I'm going to style this because like i said i'm just not a fan of kind of like mini skirts or anything like that but we will see this is a skirt as you can see it is so perfect 
like the quality is insane like what this is so good i'll probably do silver shoes like always i mean what else is new and what top should i do i just a look okay top this we're good to go i just opened the advent calendar i'm super excited about this i didn't even know which show has like body shimmering all this is perfect because when i travel Sometimes I don't want to bring the full size of the body oils that I have. I would love to have like a little sample size. So this is going to be great. This is going straight into my travel bag. I'm so excited. This is from the Ritual of Karma Shimmering Body Oil. Oh, and it smells so incredible. Like this is so perfect. I love highlighting my clavicle. It's my favorite part of my body. So whenever I'm wearing like strapless top like this like you can see it's just like there's something about clavicles that i found like so so sexy so i love putting all just right here to kind of like you know highlight the body like i said bonjour happy wednesday a little bit late today well not really i started my day early but i'm just being on here a little bit later because it's 11 45 i'm about to other lunch which i'm like should i even eat because Makita and I, we're meeting later. We're gonna go to the Louis Vuitton exhibition and then we have like dinner. I wanted to show you this new bustier that I got. This is from Magda Bertram. It's a little bit pricey, but honestly, Magda quality is on another level. And especially when you find her stuff on sale, like dress one, because um, typically this bustier it's like 700 bucks. But I wanted the gray one to wear with my gray suit, but it was sold out. I think I'm gonna double check to see if any of the other website I got this from Muda Operandi I really 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 love this detail here and the thing about Boussier I would say if you want like to have like a more classy look with Boussier order a size bigger do not order your normal size it's okay if it's like a little bit loose on you it just looks so much better than if the boussier it's literally just like strapping you and pushing your boobs up so typically i'm a size 36 so i went for a 38 and i love it like this fits so nice and also have a little bit of a stretch now i mean she also have this boussier in this like herringbone gray that comes with like a full matching suit but if i if i bought the whole thing it would be like 10 grand i think the suit uh, the coat alone is like four th four g's and then the pants are like to 1000. I want the full look to just like a full on Magda Bertram look. And I'm wearing it with my way own our pants. Um, they don't match perfectly. I do have some Frankie Shop pants that matches perfectly with this color, this of cream. I, I just wanted to try it on. You guys can see, but yes, I am obsessed. Sorry guys, I always have to go here because that's where the mirror is so I can see myself. I love it. Size up. I was kind of like debating what sizes to get to have that extra fabric around it just looks so much better when it looks bigger on you than when it looks just right especially for me i have like chest it makes sense for me to do that to begin with keep an eye out for the gray to see if it comes back in stock or if i can find it at one of the other retailers i'm gonna see if farfetch has it i wanted to to show that but let me go ahead and order lunch i'm still in this i can't take it off like this is so good <laughs> i'm obsessed like wow Kate is having Kate is having a sale right now, but my frustration honestly with a lot of brands, it's like as soon as they blow up, the prices just go crazy. Like I remember just a few months ago, I was buying a lot of pieces from Kate at a really, really good price from the sale. I feel like around September, September, October, the prices have gone so high where with the sale now it, nothing makes sense anymore with the sell i did manage to buy one bodysuit that i've been wanting an off the shoulder bodysuit because i love kate tops so much and i feel like the bodysuit would be perfect underneath something like this especially when i am shooting jewelry campaigns something off the shoulder is just so much more easier because i can put the spotlight on the necklace not only that my clavicle is my favorite part of my body and then now i can wear tops without bras or now that i can wear off shoulder tops I want to wear more of those to kind of like, you know, put emphasis on my clavicle. So I ordered a bodysuit because sometimes when you're looking for something seamless to go with a skirt or with some pins, a bodysuit is necessary. Is that my FedEx guy or is that another FedEx guy? Also, I need the wax so badly. And last night I ordered a weighted blanket because I realized how much I miss my old weighted blanket. I haven't had one for a year now because I give mine away when I move to Mexico. Me again, I am back with an unboxing. This is my, oh, UPS is 
no never mind that's not UPS this is my mango order that I placed the other the other day mango comes really fast I love the delivery system it's pretty good we we'll have to start getting ready this is what I got I got two sweaters and the price point for the sweaters are pretty good I think they're like $59 which is pretty amazing for the quality because everything else on the market is just like four hundred dollars it's actually super expensive i did i did invest in a really really good one that i've wanted for the past couple of years it's nice but honestly i love 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 the quality of this i got a size small for both i want to get an extra small in this one because i did not want it to fit perfectly i wanted it to be a little bit oversized and what i love about this it's a little bit cropped it's not too long so we're gonna pop it on remember that blue one that i was wearing all day long the other day all week long actually i was in that sweater every day and even my fedex guy probably thought that i didn't have any clothes before day he came to bring me a package and i opened the door he looked me up and down he's probably thinking this girl never changed clothes <laughs> he's probably thinking did she even shower <laughs> I know I'm an outfit repeater, but it was probably a little bit much for him, especially since I had a package like every day with him, with that same guy. Like he probably thought I did not even shower. I ordered the black as well. Um, again, this is a small, and I think it's a perfect size for me. It's slightly oversized, but you can never have too many straps shorter. When I put when I put this on the other day. I was shocked by how good it looked on and I'm just like especially when I'm working from home and I want to feel chic a strap sweater is the way to go and if I'm traveling this is such a cute sweater to wear with some black leggings I'm gonna get the totem leggings with the totem leggings with some boots I am good to go like you are going to look chic and I'm, I'm so excited so let's pop this on that's a good thing that I love now it's that I can come on here with my bra with you guys of course I'm not gonna make it a habit but because my boobs are so much smaller now and also this this bra it's kind of like a tank top and honestly it's the most comfortable thing that i've ever worn i don't ever want to take this bra off it's like second skin i just wish they would make like a wire free one like a strapless i'm gonna check to see if they do oh my god this looks so chic I just wish the zipper was a little bit further down in the chest area. I wish the zipper was like right here. It still looks so good. Again, I love that it's cropped. Look at this. I love that this is cropped. You can easily put it inside like your pants. This knit pants, I got them last year from Farfetch. It's from a brand called St. Agni. And also, I must tell you, the sleeves are a little bit short which i love i understand the oversized sleeve with most sweaters but when i tell you it gets so annoying especially when you're out not necessarily even out even when you're in your own house working from home and you're trying to eat and then all your sweater getting on it is just so incredibly annoying irritating it is nice to have a sweater that fits for once where the sleeves are not like super oversized and just like you know drinking half of your coffee eating half of your lunch we know we're not about to share and the next thing you know you can't wear them it's dirty i i love this like this is so chic i'm gonna keep this on actually this on like this is it like wow you guys already seen how i look in this so i don't even have tried i don't even have to try this one for you because i was wearing the blue one the blue version which i will insert a picture on the screen somewhere hey guys i am still home to push back our date which i am so happy about because i don't like leaving my house in the middle of the day anyway so now we're gonna go at 6 p.m which is even better other reason is i like to receive my packages because you know some of the people they leave the packages downstairs and i don't like when my package are downstairs because you know i've had issue with people stealing my packages but what i ordered from amazon is this msm <laughs> my dyslexia would just always have the best of me i was gonna say smm <laughs> I don't make no sense but powder I'm also gonna be putting this in my um, ginger shot in the morning of course with glutamine I ran out of glutamine powder really really love this one MSM I saw someone on TikTok said this one makes your hair grow make everything and I'm just like okay it's like let me try this and see hair nails something I'm telling you most of the time I order stuff from Amazon I don't even remember oh this is for my uh, record player so I've had this old record player I you know I moved so I misplaced the cord so my mom brought it back to me 
and um, the other day when I was shooting content I thought it would have been so good if my thing was actually spinning in the background so I bought this 9, 9V something cord oh yeah zinc and also I got the zinc 30 I heard this one is really really good I so I'm excited to try this one to see that's it let me get back to work i'll see you guys in a bit guys it's so cold this is what i'm contemplating wearing but then again i feel like it's it's giving like grandma vibes and i'm just like i don't know how i feel about this dress um yeah this is not giving oof and this is this look i feel like this looks great on camera but in real life it's not looking good like, i feel like sometimes i just don't know how to dress especially when it's like i don't know how to dress in between it's either i go all out with a nice dress or more loungewear when it comes to like in between i'm like what do i do this is not giving anything yeah i need some like leather boots because i'm wearing suede this suede is it's not giving much i don't like this at all at all even though i feel like it looks really really good on camera i'm just i'm just not a fan let me see if i can find something else okay this is what i came up with so i just kept on the pants i put on this little banana republic tank top and then this blazer that i got last year or i can put some tights on i need to get some like tight socks for um days like this and i can wear this mcdonald trum shoes yeah this goes actually one thing that i need to do i need to wear like belt more i just realized sometimes what i need to do is to buy a pair of pants that is bigger and then just put a belt on it because of my, my previous bus i used to never wear belt because my bus were like too close to my belly area but now that i've regained that space back i can wear more belt now and tonight i think i'm gonna do that little bag the black one so i'm gonna do this one this is going to be the the bag for tonight it just ended up being like a cute look all right let me call my uber This is the location for the Louis Vuitton exhibition but my driver dropped me off at the one spot I don't know, for some reason I just feel like Lyft drivers in general I, I don't know what's up with them somewhere <laughs> wonder right that is so cool
say hi? Sir? <laughs> <laughs> I love chew. <laughs> Again, that's the <laughs> I keep saying that's the reason why I hate drinking alcohol completely messed me up <clears throat> Although it didn't really do that much to me. I did wake up at 5 a.m. I should have stayed up though I don't know why I went back to bed and then ended up waking up at like 9 30 But it's now 10 57 which is really good. I've already gotten ready. That is something that I've made my this not necessarily my decision and make my little routine now as soon as I get up go straight to the shower get ready Let's make coffee because I need coffee first then I can think straight tonight. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'm excited for that Because I need to I don't really have anything in the house and it's supposed to get really cold I did manage to do my gua sha today. I need to get back to it because whoo, Like when I tell you the gua sha it helps me so much like not necessarily shape my face, but it helps me get you know rid of like excess water and also just kind of like release toxin from the uh, body because i also go down my neck which is where like your length so i kind of like you know go down that way and really flush out you know the toxin i always feel so much better i actually ordered another gua sha i ordered a green one because um i need options actually i want to order some more sometimes one is dirty and then also i may want to use a different one for my neck Especially since I do mine in the morning. I don't want to put oil on my face in the morning Especially since I'm gonna be doing my makeup. I'm having to wash my face again So I prefer I prefer using my snail cream to do my gua sha on my face and then I use an oil on my neck Let's go make coffee guys because I need coffee to think I, I did my lipstick for today I'm doing the Dior combo. This is the Dior addict 100. It's like the perfect kind of like pinkish nude and then on top I added the Dior lip oil most people say it's not worth it, but I honestly think it's it's worth it. Do I think the Fenty is better? Yeah, but I still like the the Dior one though. That's my lip combo for today. I've just been loving like glossy lip. It just makes me feel so girly and like so cute. Ah! I really wanted to to show you. I ordered the burrito today. This is really really good, and I added bacon on. Of course, honestly, this place I just feel like I'm the one keeping them in business. Like when I tell you what I order from them like every day literally almost every day <laughs> because everything they do is so good and i love that i can order literally anything on the menu because you know sometimes when it's a place that you order from it's only one or two things that you like from this place i like almost everything on the menu like i could order just about everything on the menu it would be good and also i do love that they update their menu like every couple of months or so they never remove like the main things, but sometimes they will change something and make it better, which I appreciate. The only thing I don't like from them is the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese sucks. It's salty. It's horrible. I prefer the mac and cheese from Red Rooster. The mac and cheese from Red Rooster is one of the best ones. I'm going to show you the new pieces that I just got from Lagos. I've really been enjoying. The caviar is my favorite collection from Lagos. It is so beautiful and distinct and just unique. And I picked out a couple of pieces from them. This is like a little diamond. This is from Lagos as well because they had like a piercing party. That's when I got my ear pierced. But I picked out a necklace. I picked some new earrings. So I may change this one. Look at that. Isn't this so pretty? Swapped it out. 
this is probably my favorite earring this month is this this uh caviar from from the caviar collection i got it over the summer realized i actually never really won them i don't know if you guys remember when i went to that event with with them it looks like a tree it's so beautiful so so stunning this is the necklace that i picked out the necklace is just as beautiful oh i love this so much it's so pretty alone this christmas but i won't wait till next year to try distance we've had with decorations in my bag he's taking it slow won't work in time it's only so long for christmas life it can't be a song you say sometimes I hey guys it is giving a wish mom i love this this is that feather jacket from revolve my goodness this is so chic and one of the pictures that's how they style a bustier from Madame Bertram. And why I wanted this is because of this picture. Sometimes an editorial would make me want to buy something. Like this is a picture that I saw. And I'm just like, this is exactly how I want to style the bustier. You know what? I'm going to shoot that tonight. Let me text my photographer. Even though I could shoot it myself. But sometimes, you know, I just want to have them out. The price point for this jacket is pretty good. This was like $2.99 or something. And you know, like anything feathery like this, it costs like an arm and a leg. This was such a great price for this feather look. This is a bodysuit from Kate. I'm not sure if it's giving what it's supposed to give, but I wanted this. I need to fix it. It's not fixed, so that's why it's looking a little bit crunchy. I really love it. It's a little bit tight. I kind of like it. This is it. Yeah. I do kind of like it. It is cute. Let me just do Instacart, honestly. <laughs> as much as I want to go to Whole Foods, I'm not sure. Well, this is actually super chic. All right, and also, uh, I didn't show you this, but it has a clasp. So you don't have to worry about when you have to go to the bathroom. You can easily pop it open or you don't even have to close it. This is actually so elegant. Next up, we've got Jayku. This is a new sweater that I got. You guys know what I have. The sweater in every color that they produced it except for like maybe darker colors i don't think they did this in the darker color today i have the green now i just got the salmon color or peachy color i really love this i got the medium i prefer the medium size because i don't know i find it to be a little bit more comfortable the the small fits just right and i prefer the size on me personally because i like things to look big on me this color honestly i never thought this color would look good on me i'm loving this color especially for like you know the winter time kind of like break off the creams and the whites a little bit something like this that is a little bit springish but so she love this now let's open the advent calendar i haven't really been opening the advent calendars with you guys because it, it hasn't been that exciting to be quite honest just a second whatever but let me put my socks on because Feet are cold. Remember to keep the socks on in the house. Let me back you up like a U-Haul truck. There you go. I love my shoes so much. Remember that. So I got the, the HBC card. Let's see if it actually works. I don't think it is. blanket i've been wanting oh it's so heavy guys it's a workout i cannot believe this is, i've spent an entire year in this apartment i didn't get a weighted blanket like what was i thinking we will not be spending any more winters without a weighted blanket so this is the one that i got wow well, i'm gonna link it um this is going to be on my amazon whenever i said i got something on amazon my storefront is gonna be linked in the description and everything is split into different sections so it's so easy for you to find so this is the one that i got the wow 
and this was under fifty dollars i'm about to open this up and and put it on the bed here it is yes this is so much better oh! <laughs> all right let me go put this in the bedroom i'll be back because i just want to like watch emily in paris because i know if i watch it tonight i am not going to i'm not going to sleep all night but what i really came here on here to, to tell you is that i've been ordering from this place that i really really like i ordered a steak they had the audacity to cut it into little pieces I was so offended and I'm just like is it because I'm a, I'm a woman like they feel the need to cut it into little pieces or maybe they just wanted to like cheat me out of a really good side steak I was so very upset about the whole thing I cannot even begin to tell you how upset I was intense copper ooh that would be nice I'm thinking of growing red because I think I'm like over the blonde but yeah I was a little bit offended by that and I'm just like how dare they you know slice my steak into little pieces what I did was I just changed my name on the app to to like a unisex man where the unisex name where it could just be anything of those like you know unisex name where it could be a female or a male but you don't know so I've just changed my name to that like what makes you think it's okay for you to slice my steak like the first time i ordered it it came into like a nice big piece of steak and then second time all of a sudden they're gonna slice it uh, <laughs> why sorry guys i'm gonna go now all right guys i guess that name got them because my food look like it should look like a good piece of steak they even give me more fries so i guess i've been doing myself a disservice using my real name let me finish eating i'll see you guys tomorrow see you tomorrow. bonjour it's noon i haven't even had my coffee yet i'm about to make it right now i ordered a print to go right here right on top of where i sit but buying that weighted blanket was such a horrible idea i'm joking because i could not get out of bed this morning it was so warm and cozy oh my goodness i was having the best time evs literally the coziest time and also i got let's make a coffee because i'm ready to get cozy i need to order lunch now i am debating what to order if i wanna i'm not necessarily in the mood for pasta all i want to eat is potatoes and caviar i know very specific right here let me show it to you but first let me remove the sticker this is a salad as you can see i added fried chicken to it this is one of the best salads out there and of course my favorite bowl this is like a cranberry salads at first i was just like oh cranberry <laughs> turns out i really like it so i'm gonna make my own dressing this is a salad as you can see A cappuccino here I am eating lunch with another coffee yes also thank you for you guys and of course you guys already know glory to God for you know giving me everything without him nothing without him there's no me there's no you first of all glory to God thank you to you guys for sticking with me for taking time out of your day to watch my videos Hi. Is this Amazon? 
as i was saying thank you guys for taking time out of your day to like spend that time with me it means the world to me if it wasn't for you guys honestly i would not have picked uh, this place it was you guys told me pick this place pick this place pick this place and i went back and talked to the girl and then she explained things a little bit further and this turned out to be the most beautiful thing it wasn't an easy year i'm not gonna lie to you guys it was a year of setting really really strong boundaries because before i thought i had boundaries turns out i really had like no boundaries it was kind of like the year of no for me just like saying no to things that did not make me feel feel good you know because in the past it's always been me you know trying to accommodate you know like other people really stepping back and looking at my friendships and really see if uh if those are people that i even want in my life anymore honestly that was like a year of reflection a year of isolation which is exactly what i needed but one of the biggest lessons honestly was like the year of boundaries like setting really strong boundaries and the thing about boundaries you don't necessarily have to communicate them you can set your boundaries and you don't have to tell people about them but before i used to just be always ready to lala gag people coming to visit new york like hey i'm in town let's hang out and i'm always down to go hang out or like spending money wasting money on alcohol and doing all that nonsense it was a year of no i'm just like no it's something if it's not for work if it doesn't benefit me in any capacity like i don't have time for it you know didn't want to spend time with people that i didn't necessarily feel aligned with of course again surgery was probably one of the well the number one thing was honestly my relationship with god that was the most amazing thing that came out of this year honestly our relationship is so much stronger you know having that quality in time spending quality time together it's like that has been my favorite thing ever that yeah that's honestly the biggest thing and the second would have to be the surgery like the surgery literally changed my life to to a new height my quality of life has increased so much from that surgery i i did not know i could be this happy comfortable in my own body merry christmas guys happy holidays i hope you having an amazing time hanging out with your families and friends sadly my family doesn't celebrate christmas unfortunately they don't celebrate but nonetheless it's still a very happy time for me again i wish i could be off right now um, watching some films and but it's completely okay thank you thank you thank you a million thank you let me go eat now I'm ready to go to whole foods here's my look i mean underneath i'm just in my comfy clothes investing in really really good outerwear it's the way to go i want to have like a really really nice cut collection i got rid of pretty much all the coats that i had last year i've kind of like started brand new i only kept two i didn't know how much i needed this bag honestly this is the perfect bag to to go grocery shopping i am back from whole foods i did a little bit of damage honestly i thought it was gonna be way more than what i spent i got some bread i think tonight i'm gonna make uh, i'm gonna make steak and ravioli what do we think steak and ravioli is that too heavy i also got some greens to make some salads because i've been in the mood for salads but i hate buying salads to me it feels like it feels like such a rip off also got some peeled garlic of course lemon lime you can never have enough lemon i'm gonna use two lime for the steak
guys, here's dinner, homemade. I cannot tell you, I don't remember the last time I had a glass of wine in the house. So guess what? Since I poured it, I'm like, you know what? Officially on vacation. Not really, I still have a blog post to write, but I let the steak cook a little bit too much. Oh my God. One of the best steak that I've ever, it is so good, like wow. Christmas carols down the street Snowflakes on the graceful trees Underneath the mistletoe Bonjour! Today is 26, the day after Christmas! Christmas was, um, though I wasn't feeling well, especially for Christmas Eve So I literally spent my day being a bum as you can see over here, that's what I did. I spent a day being a bum. Actually, we signed up for Netflix just to watch Emily in Paris. I love Emily in Paris. It's one of my favorite shows because it's lighthearted. I know people love to hate it. It's just like, I don't care if you don't like it. For me, entertainment is not about making me think too much. Like, I don't need to watch a like, crime series like making me think or crazy shows where I have like to keep up with like 20 characters. I don't like those like I, I could never watch Game of Thrones like I, it's just too much for me I love watching things that just you know lighthearted and funny and happy that's just my kind of thing I'm not really like crazy intellectual shows like that's not for me keep me out of it like I said if I'm watching entertainment I just want to be entertained and laugh myself and also I just want to see beautiful faces so obviously you know Emily in Paris always kind of like make you know romanticize Paris so much like Paris is beautiful um, again every time I go the more the more I am liking it first when I first got there my first trip ooh, I hated it but every trip ever since I just keep liking it more and more it's growing on me I used to think it was the most overhyped city ever but now I don't know I'm loving it it's romantic but this is what I got. I haven't opened the one from from this one yet. So we're gonna open this and see what's in there. Ooh, I even open my Christmas cracker yeah this is from Floyd's London ah! it's one of my dreams to, to host a holiday party and just have like beautiful Christmas crackers and for us to just rip them apart oh my god this is nice Ooh, and it's strong too just like I like it oh wow this is from Floyd's London this is platinum 22 
Oh wow, I can smell the vanilla in this. This definitely has vanilla. Okay, I'm definitely interested in Floris London. I love this. It's sweet but strong at the same time. The thing that I came on here to show you guys is this. I got the art. It's white or cream, I should say. Um, it's like abstract. I guess it's not 2D. I think this is 2D, right? I mean, I took 2D and 3D classes. I should know the difference between the three, right? This time I want, I went with the white. This is to go in the center, right over here. It is a little bit smaller, but hey, it is what it is. I need somebody else to hold it so I can actually see what it looks like uh, before I decide to clip it to the wall. The price, this was only $65, which is pretty incredible for this. What else? I'm waiting for FedEx to get here and UPS. Oh, I didn't show you. I'm telling you, the ritual calendar was so worth it. This is the perfume. It's not my favorite because I am not kind of like a fresh kind of like person scent. Like fresh scents, I just don't like them. I, I still, even in the summertime, I still wear more kind of like vanilla and sexy scent. The only scent that's fresh that I like, I'm going to show you, is in here. This is the only scent that's fresh that I like. Is the Mise en Zier Eau de Jejum. You cannot go wrong with the scent. It's so nice. Like when I tell you, I don't typically like even to spray perfume on my clothes when I'm home. Especially since I wear it every day. I don't want like the perfume on it. I prefer to spray it on my skin. Perfume that I could say in the summertime. This is my favorite light scent. Other than that, I am not like a fresh scent kind of girl and i also received a lovely package from jarite you guys know the silver bag that i carry all the time when i saw they had this platinum bag i had to have it i'm actually on the market for like a yeah like a platinum shoe I like you know silver but not sparkly i wanted a bag like this from era i believe era I think I borrowed it when I was, yes, I borrowed it in the green from Farfetch when I was in Paris during Paris Fashion Week. It's so beautiful. So they also have the metallic one. I go to Bergdorf, Saks, and Nostrum tonight to find that K dress because I need to try it before I buy it. Other than that, that's the plan. And then later on tonight, when I get back home, that's when I'm going to take down the Christmas tree. It is 3.46 now. I've just did this little makeup. I'm not wearing foundation. I'm wearing like the the tinted moisturizer from Laura Mercy. Which is kind of like foundation to me. It's like the same as wearing foundation. Because I feel like the coverage is like really, really like same. So this is what I'm wearing. And I'm also wearing my new Dior lipstick. This is a Dior Velvet um, nude style in the color 300. Like I said, I've wanted this lipstick from the moment it came out. As soon as I saw it, I was just like, I need this color ASAP. And I never ended up getting it until I was at, you know, Macy's in the duo section buying some other things. And then I saw it. I was just like, oh my God, I've wanted this color forever. I can't believe I never gotten it, but I ended up getting it. It was a little Christmas present to myself, which I just unboxed. I'm about to throw this out. As you can see, I love it. It's so pretty. And then I'm doing the caviar sticks by Laura Mercier. They're like my favorite. Whenever I'm not in the mood to put makeup, I'm just doing like a little messy makeup. That's what I use because it deals so easy. You just like, you know, it's like a little pencil. You just like draw on your eyes. Boom, you're done. Jewelry is from Lagos. Uh, by the way, I love Lagos so much. They have such beautiful jewelry. Look at this. It's like so stunning. I love this one. This is from the Caviar Collection. It's my favorite collection from Lagos. It's a classic. It's time to get out. I'm about to get dressed. Um, right, guys, so this is my look of the day. Now I wish I had the totem leggings with my boots from Viaroma like 15. I love these boots so much. And this is my mango sweater. I love the sweater, the striped sweater. I'm deciding on a bag because I want a bag that's crossbody, although I really want to take my... Oh, I'm gonna go for Dior Hypnotic Poison. It's one of my favorite perfume ever. For bag, I was thinking about taking this. This is my Coperni bag. So this is like a good contender because I can actually put this over my... And also what I love about this bag, even though it's not cause body, it's way easier to maneuver around your arm. All right guys, I am ready. This is my full outfit. I'm gonna walk outside and take a cab instead because I'm checking Uber prices and 
It's way too high. I need to cut it. Let's go, guys. I almost forgot you. So let's try it out. The jeans are so ill-fitting on me. It's like very tight over here. Yeah. These are not it. Sad. Okay, this looks like a joke on me. This is the bralette for that cardigan that I have. But my goodness, my boobs are just like on another level. Like this is not right. Like that's not right at all. is a flower i think i showed you this last year when fifth avenue was literally dead nobody here it was a different decoration i think i prefer this year it's so much nicer so much cuter in line at Uniqlo I completely forgot how good Uniqlo was for good basics I haven't shopped there in years and years I cannot believe the last time I walked into a Uniqlo I think I used to shop at Uniqlo back in my Brooklyn days that's how far back I used to shop there and my Brooklyn days were like nine years ago about to be ten years now Typically, all the sweaters that I'm buying, they're like $200 a piece. Granted, what I get, they're like super good quality stuff. They're really, really good. But I went to Uniqlo today. It was amazing. Like, all the stuff that I bought for like 200 bucks. So I'm gonna do like a little Uniqlo haul to just like show you guys some of the stuff that you could get. The store was packed. Let's get cooking. I'm hungry. Okay, 
Okay, guys, I'm gonna go and claim this is the best steak that I've made. Like, when I tell you this is delicious, the other day, my steak was definitely overcooked, and I did not enjoy it. That is one thing that I realize now. I cannot enjoy my steak if it's over. If it's well done, no thank you. Even medium well, I'm just like, eh. I think I prefer my, you know, my steak medium now. But I'm watching my favorite makeup um, YouTuber, which is Andrea Ali. I love the way she does makeup. She's she's my favorite makeup artist. Oh, 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 oh,